Hi, I'm Wade Wingler with the Data Project at Easter Seals Crossroads. Today we're going to talk a little bit about wireless cameras for monitoring. We had a question recently where somebody said, hey, I'm in a wheelchair and sometimes people will ring my front doorbell and by the time I get there, they're already gone. And I, I don't even know if it's somebody I wanted to see at the front door. So we've been investigating some wireless cameras that will help with that situation. We looked at a lot of them and they range in terms of price and complexity, but the one we kind of like right now is called DropCam. It ranges between two and three hundred dollars depending on whether or not it has sound. And here's the interesting thing about DropCam. You hook it into your network once with a cable to configure it, but after that, it's wireless and you can put it anywhere. So for example, right now, I've got it sitting at our front door so that you can see that somebody came to the front door and take a look at who's there. And instead of a dedicated monitor, it uses an internet connection, a secure uh, uh, encrypted internet connection so that you can log into your computer through your web browser or you can even look at the application on your phone. And for example, right here, I've got the app running on my iPhone so that you can see the camera um, video. The other interesting thing about the drop cam is that it will, you can have it trigger video or audio. So it will sit there and not do anything until somebody moves in front of the camera. When there's motion in front of the camera, it will be recording and send you a text message or an email to let you know that there was movement in front of the camera. Maybe somebody was at your front door. You can also set it up so that audio will trigger it. So for folks who are deaf or hearing impaired, a sound will trigger the audio and then send you an email or a text message. So then you can look at the video on your phone or your computer to see what made the camera trigger. The nice thing about the wireless aspect of this camera is all you have to do is have a place to plug it in for power. And in fact, we've even used a stand like this. This is an old music stand that you might have used in band. And you can put the drop cam right on here and you can put it in different places around the house. So, th so long as there's a place to plug it in, it, can communica it communicates through your wireless network and then sends that signal to anywhere. So you can even be looking at your camera at home from your work computer or your iPhone wherever you happen to be out and about. So there's a lot of reasons where uh, having a wireless security camera in your home might be a piece of assistive technology. So that's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project in Indiana.